Okay, in this video I will show how do you create a connection string uh, setting so that that setting can be referred in the source code uh, just by specifying a single uh, key value. So to create a connection string setting, uh, right click on the project and then choose uh, properties. Once you choose property, uh, you will see a uh, property for the selected project that means uh, property for this SQL command project in the left side you do see a list of uh, properties grouped under uh, certain name say application property build even property property for resources like that I'm choosing a settings You can read uh, what are provided here. Application setting allow you to store and retrieve property settings. So here uh, I'm going to form a connection string as a property setting uh, so that it can be retrieved in the application later. Um, I'm going to connect um, pubs database. Uh, which usually comes uh, with the Microsoft uh, package itself or you can uh, search for uh, pubs or uh, Northwind database in the Google so you may get a script file and uh, you can directly run that script file to create such a DBs ok what are it is so pub is uh, Microsoft supplied a database for uh, learning purpose so I'm creating a um, connection string for this pub database so first I provided the name the next one is the type the type is a connection string so once I click that uh, combo box I will see connection string as a last property in the combo list just selected that then scope I'm changing it to application. When I click value, mm, if you are um, very much expert in forming the connection string, you can directly type that here. Uh, if you are new, then uh, you can click on this uh, red el uh, ellipsis button. So which will uh, show you the connection properties dialog so I'm specifying uh, and the database is Microsoft SQL Server uh, by default um, the data source if you want to change you can change the data source by clicking the change button so <coughs> my pub database is on the SQL Server so here I'm specifying the database location as local uh, that means it's in the local PC um, if your database is in different location, you can specify the machine name uh, or IP address. Then I'm using um, SQL Server authentication. I'm just providing the username and the password. Once this is done, so we specify the database location and we specified username and password. Now it's time to pick a particular database on that server machine, database server. So I'm picking uh, pubs database. And that's all. So now you can test the connection and uh, close it. It's just a warning message that states that um, you click the save option while forming the connection string. So it's saving the password, that's the sensitive information, is that ok? So I'm just saying it's ok. That's all. So I click the save here, that means um, whatever I created uh, that gets stored along with the project. <coughs> Now in the latter part of the article you can see how I am referring this uh, CON STR pubs just to retrieve the connection string in while I am coding uh, 
uh, for this project. I am closing this video. For now, we will see in the next video.